grade eight, the kids knew that cooties weren't a thing anymore, and when a boy bullies, he is really crushing. I knew that when people complimented my smile, they didn't know. It was fake. <laughs> In grade nine, the kids knew that clip-ons were tacky and boys liked blowjobs more than holding hands. <laughs> I knew that a razor blade could cut a clean line, an exacto knife could chasm my flesh, and a sewing needle could control my fingers when inserted into a tendon. I was a puppet, pull my strings, ventriloquize my speech, pierce my ears, and tell me to wear hoops if I ever want to be gifted and orgasm. That November, the kids knew that gold matched the fallen maple leaves, and on coffee dates, he should buy. I knew that shepherd's pie was the least soggy hospital meal, and bourbon burns but numbs the slits. In January, the kids knew that studs were appropriate to appear as if studying was top priority in the bags under their eyes. We're not from texting until 2 a.m. I knew that honesty was crucial. And if I told myself life was doable, one day it might be true. I cut my marionette strings. When I smiled, it would sometimes bleed into my eyes. I poked holes in my ears instead of my body, and I wore beads to disguise my scars. November of grade 11, the kids knew that sweets are not part of the lose 30 and 30. I knew that I was Augustus Gloop falling into his chocolate fountain eyes. In December, the kids knew that the diamond jewels given on their 16th guaranteed a mistletoe kiss. I knew that staring for longer than seven seconds drew suspicion and Christmas lights cast his black hair blue. At first, when we caught gazes, I wore my old mask and taught myself to breathe. I decided to wear pearls and line my eyes. Today, the kids do not know that he looks at me for over seven seconds. <laughs> I know that his mouth tilts upright when he grins at me. I know that four hours is too short when we sit back to back on the two-person swing. I know that his curls tickle my neck. When he folds me into his wingspan, they ask me if I got chills. But he is a furnace, heating my chest and burning away the cold. Now. When he looks at me, he sees me. And in his chocolate fountain eyes, I recognize myself. Thank you. Zero, and a 